you got to fake it till you make it. I was a, a school captain back in the day and I was too ashamed to get up on, up on stage and sort of talk. My mum's advice was fake it till you make it and for me I've been able to use that to build my own self-confidence and the abilities that I need to be in a position that I am in. Sean Humphreys and my mob's a uh, descendant of the Gundagara Nation. Uh, family come up through Ewan Country and currently I live out on Thoroughall Country out in Camden. I'm the NRL School to Work Program Manager for the Central Region, which looks after the Sydney and Western Sydney areas. So part of my job is inspiring my team to continue to go out and deliver our program to the community and the, the kids that we work with in, within our schools and the areas that we reach. Some of the activities that I do, organising meetings, organising meetings with stakeholders, looking for further opportunities for our young people and making sure our young people are aware of the opportunities that are out there for them, both in education and employment. For me to get the job that I'm currently in, I went and studied at Western Sydney University and studied a Bachelor of Community and Social Development. After completing there, I went and worked for Fax, and after being a caseworker at Fax for 12 months, I then went and transitioned to the role as a project officer for the NRL, working in the NRL School to Work program. And after two years, the NRL approached me and asked me to become the manager of the program, and I've been the manager for the last three years. The thing I enjoy most about my job is being able to create opportunities for our young people and seeing the transition of our young people from school to making that transition into you know, further tertiary education or making that first step into their career pathway. My advice to any young person wanting to work in the NRL and particularly in the community services area would be to go and get yourself a qualification and put your hand up and wherever possible get access to voluntary experience within the community, build your networks and then yeah, look for those opportunities when they come up. For a career pathway in the community services area, definitely respect and integrity is a big value that we, we hold quite, quite important to us all. We want to make sure that if you're going to promise a young person anything or, or a community anything, you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure that opportunity can actually be followed through upon. It's important for a young person to be able to, to link into a, to a positive pathway, to be able to create opportunity for not only for themselves, but for their family as well. You know, Education and employment can lead to real significant change and it also leads to empowerment. I've seen it happen within my own family and I've seen it happen within the lives of the young people that I've worked with. It's created a real significant change. It's very important for young people to make sure that they've got a really good, safe, secure network of supports around them, whether that be their friends, whether that be their family members, whether that be role models or mentors. So making sure that the young person identifies the positive traits in those people that are around them and focus in on them and you know, build themselves up on those positive attributes that they see out there in the community. The NRL School to Work program has been a, a program funded by the Australian Federal Government for a number of years now and for young people to be a part of our program they can engage with their Aboriginal Education Officer at their school to identify if we're able to go out there and support them or their careers advisor is another good contact for them and they're able to make identify aspirations and pathways into further employment or education by being part of our program and once they've completed their studies, completed year 12, they continue to receive support from our program in that first year, that year 13 when they make that transition out of school. So it's important for them to be able to network with people such as ourselves that are out there in the community who are aware of the opportunities. And for us, we're able to use the brand of the NRL to create opportunities for our young people and identify pathways that are appropriate, safe and suitable for our young people to jump into nice and early when they make that transition from school to work.